Hello, precious friends, beautiful friends from around the world. Let's see here um, what is for Scorpio for the next week or so. The story for Scorpio, the message for Scorpio for the next week or so. And um, let's see what um, story is coming forward. If you prefer not to watch the shuffling, just move forward into the video um, where the reading begins, Scorpio. There's usually somebody who will put a timestamp in the comment section. And if there isn't one there, if you would do that, um, that would be wonderful if that's something that you like. All right, let's go ahead and see what's here for the sign of Scorpio. And we start out with the tower. The tower for Scorpio. Current energies for Scorpio. Current energies for Scorpio. Current energies for Scorpio. Current energies for Scorpio. Six of Wands. Strength. Current energies for the sign of Scorpio. Four of Swords. What's, com what's coming in in the next week or so for Scorpio? What's coming in in the next week or so? What is Scorpio stepping out to meet? Because we have a stepping out energy here. What is, ste what is Scorpio stepping out to meet in the next week or so? In the next immediate wave of energy. In the next immediate wave of energy, we have another six. Another six. And I'll go over these all these cards when I'm done shuffling so you'll know exactly what's here. What's coming towards Scorpio? What is Scorpio um, connecting with in the next week or so? Um, sometimes Scorpio, when, when us readers um, introduce the cards, sometimes we can use words as coming towards you, what offers coming in, what is headed towards you. Um, but I think sometimes that leaves us in a very passive place in our life. So I'm really working to change the language that I use um, as I pull the energies. What is, what is Scorpio headed towards in the next week or so? What is Scorpio headed towards in the next week or so? Ooh, you can see the cards are really active here. There you are, Scorpio, taking action. That's a, that is the energy that I was just talking about, King of Cups here. Um, so let's see what's ahead for you in the next in the next week or so here. A lot of beautiful energies. A lot of beautiful energies here for Scorpio in the next week or so. Scorpio in the next week. Scorpio in the next week. Scorpio in the next week. All right. And guidance for Scorpio, please. Guidance for Scorpio, please. Guidance for Scorpio. Well, Scorpio, um, all right, so the time is 3.22. Not bad for me, Scorpio. All right, let me start my introduction here. First of all, before I get started, just a quick reminder for those of you that are here that this is a general reading. Um, please do not make any major decisions based off of a general reading or even a personal reading. Um, we are in control, um, along with our spiritual teams, of our destiny. Um, that is not... Um, to be given to anyone else to, to decide. Um, that message is coming through quite clearly here, and I usually don't say it that strongly, Scorpio, but it's here very strongly this morning. So I really like that energy from you, the energy of an awareness of your own strength to manifest your own future. It's beautiful. And um, we do have the tower as overall energy. So I feel like most of you are coming into um, some great change in your life. And, and the tower was the overall energy here that came out in the very beginning. It's almost like um, they're saying, OK, this is going to be a story of great change. Scorpio, this is going to be a story of great change because we have the tower. The tower is here. All right. So there's great change in your, your life. Now, th this I, I feel for some of you, this could be kind of a surprise. This is a surprising kind of an energy. We do have the Ten of Swords in the incoming energy, but the rest of the energies around the Ten of Swords are very beautiful. So I I just don't feel like this Ten of Swords is, is you've been already th been through the rough parts, Scorpio. You've already been through the, the rough parts. 
Um, there's some beautiful energies here for you. So what's happening currently in your energy is your if your step this group of star the, this group of Scorpios is stepping out into the world around them in, in a completely different way. We have the six of wands and the strength energy. All right. So this is a passionate um Sorry, Scorpio, I'm in a different location. As you can tell, the camera's in a different place, and some of you might really like how I have the camera. It's an improvement, um, but the lighting is off. I don't have my lighting with me, so um, I'm using ceiling lights, and they can put a glare on the cards. All right, Scorpio, so those of you that I'm talking to this week are, are starting something new in your lives, or you're coming out into the community in a different way. You're stepping out. You're stepping out in a different way. Right. This could even be new clothes. Right. It, these energies that when we go get into the weekly energies, um, sometimes they can be more minor energies. And, and I, I can be um, really um, I, I could be dramatic in these readings because I'm a dramatic reader. You, you know that I do. I, you know that I am a dramatic reader, but um, it could be such um, a thing as coming out into the community in a different outfit, in a different uniform. Something could be different with the clothes that you're wearing. You could have a new um, a new outfit, or you could have a new way of wearing clothes. It could be a new haircut that you've had, or a new way of presenting yourself in some way. This could also be a new job that you've acquired, um, a new project that you've taken on, a new relationship that you've entered into. There's something new um, that's going on in your life. It's something that has a little bit of a risk but you have a lot of passion for this and you and you're claiming it you're claiming it you're saying okay this is mine i'm taking this with me i'm putting this on my shoulders i'm putting this in my backpack and i'm stepping out into the community around me and people are seeing me in a different way and there's a chance um there's a great chance there's a likelihood here scorpio that you could be um winning a lot of respect winning awards winning recognition gaining respect um, people are seeing you in this new way that you're stepping forward and they're liking what they're seeing. Um, it, this does, when I go deeper into this energy of the Six of Cups, there is some responsibility here for some of you. So you're not taking this on lightly. For some of you, this is responsibility. This is new jobs, new tasks, um, new representation. Um, this could be a politician. This could be someone who represents people. doesn't always have to be a politician, but but you could be representing something that you feel very passionately about that has a lot of um, there, there's a responsibility here. There, there is for some of you a weight on your shoulders, but you feel so passionately about it that you're, you're willing to step forward in a new way and represent whatever this is. There is a truth here, right? Because the strength energy is here. There is a truth here. You're feeling so passionate about it. It's something that you, you are having to learn how you say the words. You're having to learn how you, um, work with the nuance of this energy. Um, there, there is a, there is an energy here of learning how to express yourself, learning how to use the nuance, the nuance of language or the nuance of expression, um, and, and learning how to, uh, what's, how do I say it? It's almost like I wish I had, a, uh, if I could draw pictures, I can't draw. That's the problem. But, but there is, um, an energy of, learning how to express express yourself in a way that hits the hearts of others that 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 goes not from the mind to the mind but the heart to the heart and when we do this we have to learn how to hone the language we have to learn how to work with the words and work with the emotions to really um to really be effective in this space we also have the four of swords here all right i i just saw on the camera here that you can't see all. I'll fix it when I, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So um, it's weird that I got distracted right there. It's weird that I got distracted with the Four of Swords. So that's telling me that it's, this is, this could be a distraction from some pain that you've been through. This could be something that's helping you step out of an old situation. Yes, for many of you, this is a distraction. This is a gift from the universe. This is something that's going to help you heal from the past. This is something that's going to help you revitalize from the past, a new project or a new relationship or a new job that allows you to step out of an old situation. It's like a, it's a gift, a platform. It's, it is a elevator. It is something here that, um, why I say it's a gift, it's a platform, it's an elevator. This is something that is, it has somewhat of an energy of a gift. It is something that you've done. It is because of your hard work. Um, but we co-create. We don't, 
usually, based on many of our beliefs, we work in tandem with some greater energy, whether it is the energy of the earth, whether it is the energy of source energy, whatever that is for you, um, this is something that there is an energy here, an awareness that it is a gift. It is um, something that has been given to help elevate you, to help bring you out of a situation um, that that was traumatic for you because we do have the Four of Swords. So it is a distraction kind of energy and distractions sometimes can be the greatest gifts, my friends. And I think that this group of you is aware of that, fully aware of that and um, are, are responding in gratitude and appreciation for whatever this is. Again, the tower is here. So this is a time of great change for you. The overall story is the tower. Okay, so you um, have are in the tower, right? And sometimes tower moments can be a very, it, some of us can go through tower moments for years, right? Because change, great change sometimes takes a while. And I think that for many of us, we think that change just comes in and we're done and we're moving on. It's not like that. Well, it's never been like that for me, Scorpio. And, and um, if, it, if it is for you, um, please put in the comments how you do that, because I've never learned how to do that. And in fact, um, I, I think that great change comes with great lessons. And um, just like university can take four years, um, getting your master's or your PhD can take longer. Um, but when we go through change, when we go through tower moments, it, maybe it can happen quickly. Maybe the big, big element can happen quickly, but the tower can take some time. All right. So for many of you, you're, you're through the tower now and you're working your way out into some sort of new experience for yourself. All right, so moving into the next seven days or so, um, we do have some really beautiful energies here. We have the Ten of Swords in the middle, all right? So the Ten of Swords is here, which means that there, in the, there has been a surrendering into whatever this is now. What, you've given up on something. You've surrendered in. Um, for me, the surrendering sometimes feel, feels like um, the last time I surrendered, <laughs> which some of us do quite a lot because we're stubborn and we have an ego that needs to um, learn how to release. Some of us are like that. I'm Aquarius, you're Scorpio. We're a lot alike with, the, with, we understand the power of the mind, right? So the last time I surrendered, I just was on my knees and I said, I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm going to release everything and I'm just gonna go with the flow because what I'm doing is certainly not working. What I'm doing, it's not working. And so I gave it all up. I gave it all away. I just said, bring me what you will. That was the last time I surrendered. And I think um, for, for many of you, um, Scorpio, you're, you're kind of in that place now. Like you're saying, okay, this is what's been given to me. I'm going to surrender to this. I'm going to go with this and see um, what happens. That's the energy that I feel. I don't always feel that with the Ten of Swords. Sometimes there's a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords. I think this is more of a surrendering into this because you have beautiful energies here around the Ten of Swords. So that's, it's, it's when these beautiful energies, Scorpio, affect the cards, they can affect the Ten of Swords. So this might be painful. You might be exiting out and entering into a new situation, but you could just be surrendering to this and saying, whatever is being brought before me, this is something that is meant for me. This is something that's, that is destined. And I am going to step into this elevator. I don't know what floor I'm going to get off on. I don't know what's going to be on the other side of the door, but I'm stepping into this elevator because all the other directions have blockages. All the other directions didn't work. And so I'm stepping into this elevator. Some of you are literally stepping into elevators. I keep seeing it over and over again. Um, stepping into elevators, going into a different floor of a building, going into a new building, going up to a new condominium, going up to a new home. Um, definitely, there's definitely and stepping into this elevator um, energy, part of the tower. So in the incoming energies here, we start off with the Six of Pentacles, beautiful energy. Six of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards. Um, Six of Pentacles is about... Um, having balance in finances, having balance in the material world, having equality in your material world. So with the Six of Pentacles, there's a feeling here that you'll be okay financially. Um, you, you could have um, gotten a promotion or you could have um, connected in with a new experience that's much more fair for you. It feels much more balanced. You have more power. You have more power in this situation. 
You have the ability to hold the reins of your own chariot, my friends, with the Six of Pentacles. So you're stepping into that. And here you are as a King of Cups, a masculine energy of taking command of your own space, taking command of your own world. This is not internal health. You've already um, done the work for internal health. This is creating um, and taking action in your own world, Scorpio, to bring in the balance that you need because the balance energy comes first. So you're stepping into this balance energy and you're making changes in your own life. All right. Um, there is a new inspiring introduction here. So you could have been or you will be connected with into a new introduction of something, a new introduction of a Sagittarius type energy here, compassionate, um, someone who's very compassionate, someone who's very loving, um, this could be a new introduction of a person, could be a love interest, but it doesn't have to be. And for many of us, it's probably not because after we've come out of the tower, usually it takes us some time to, to find our bearings again, find our feet again, find our new platform, build up a new foundation for ourselves. If we connect with someone in, in a romantic way right after the tower, while we're in a tower, um, it can often... Um, some of us do, some of us can, but, but mostly, I mean, I want to be honest in these readings and for many of us, this is going to be something that helps to heal, helps to inspire our hearts, right? Helps to bring in something. It's a message that comes in or it's a person who enters our life that just creates inspiration within us, right? So it's either an event, an energy or a person that can really, you know, those moments when when you're um, walking down a hallway and you're in a strange place and you and you see sorry i just realized i when i read you guys i got distracted again when i read i rock back and forth that's how i channel and so you're gonna i see my hand is coming in and out of the video i'm sorry about that i'll pull it down um this is something that some of you could walk by someone and they could just smile at you in a very nice way um, and that can light your heart up um, there could be someone who you could be going into a room where you don't know anyone and someone comes up to you and says, how are you? Um, and welcomes you into the space. It could be something like that. It could be someone who's coming up to you um, as a friend and, and offering their friendship to you. It's something that really inspires you. It warms your heart. Somebody could be um, bringing you a hot um a hot cup of coffee in the morning and just giving you a nice note and saying, welcome to the, welcome to the group. Welcome to the company. We're so happy you're here. Welcome to the family. We're so happy, happy you're here. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the building. We're happy you're here. That kind of a, that kind of an energy, I think for most of you, um, the, the temperance energy here, which is here, which is the energy of understanding of patience, um, of giving this time to work out, understanding there's complexity and there's things going on. There, there are activities taking place in your life that you may not be seeing. There could be some activities taking, taking place in, in the invisible world, in the spiritual world, and even in the, in the 3D dimensional world, um, that you can't see. And there's an understanding here of flowing, flowing with the current, flowing with energy, um, flowing with the energy of your life, flowing with um, your your spiritual team and and how they're guiding you. So in the next week or so, there is a new um, there is a new space. You're going to be for this group of people. You're going to be moving into a different uh, into a new and different space. Doesn't have to be huge. It could be a new project, or it could be um, moving moving your desk or changing a location and where you work. It doesn't have to be huge. We're only looking at the next seven to ten days here. But there is a space. There is an energy of changing things up a little bit, um, making changes in your world that brings in nourishment, that brings in a healthier lifestyle for you in some way, um, that brings in nourishment for you. So it is a good change that you're making and you are actively participating in this in the next week, Scorpio. It is an energy with the Ten of Swords of just surrendering to this. You could have fought it, Scorpio. You could have fought it. That's what I'm feeling. You could have fought this for a while. You could have resisted this new, this new venture that you were in. You could have resisted, but there came a time when when it's almost like you were pulled to do this, the, 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 the other routes didn't really make sense for you. You could have tried other ways. They didn't, they didn't work for you in, in some way. And so there is a surrendering into this, 
Um, and, and as you surrender, it sort of in a way feels good, almost like the roller coaster is beginning, right? It's starting, you got into the roller coaster and you buckled up, you buckled up here with the six of wands, you buckled up and you got into the roller coaster. And now in the next week or so, that roller coaster is taking off, right? And there's something here that's really inspiring you. A friend is coming forward or some kind of energy is there for you to welcome you into this new experience, all right? There's a welcoming into the new experience here and also a patience and an understanding that there are complexities, that there are um, actions taking place for you that you may not see or you may not hear, you may not know of. Um, and, and for most of you, this is a more of a spiritual energy that I have here, more of a spiritual energy. So the, the guidance that's coming forward for all of you is a three of pentacles with the knight of cups and the king of wands. So this is for many of you, this is, this has to do with your work. This has to do with something that you're working on. The three of pentacles energy, I really like it. I really love the three of pentacles because it talks about something that has been already been established. So you're not going in not knowing what you're doing. You're not going into something that has, that has no um, existence. Something is existing like this door, this piece of wood, I think for, it's probably a door, but of course we don't know, you know, it could be anything, a panel, whatever this is, it exists, right? It's something, uh, it's a material item. So whatever you're doing, it already exists in some form or another. It's something that you're working on. And usually with the Three of Pentacles, there are other people, not always, doesn't have to be, but usually there are other people here other teammates, other other family members, whatever this is. And you have something that has already been started. It has already been created and you're working together to make it to be more abundant, to make it to be more grand, to make, to make it to be more sufficient, more efficient, more, uh, more tangible. So you're working on something that has already been created. You're working together, you're compromising, you're networking, you're learning from one another, and you're working to make it more successful in whatever way. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. So this is an energy of love. There, this, the Knight of Cups doesn't always talk about bringing forward um, a, an offer of love. Although for many of you, this could be an offer of love. It could be. But for most of you here, this is moving forward. You're moving forward because remember, you're the King of Cups here. You're not the Queen of Cups right now. You are the King of Cups. So you're taking action in your life and you're moving forward in this energy of love. You could be feeling shy. You could be feeling like you want to hide. Lots of times when we go into a new situation, I've done it for many, many years of my life, um, that we prefer to be invisible. We prefer to hide. We prefer to, to um, sneak in so that no one sees us. But remember, you're in the Six of Wands here, so you are going to be seen. But there is this energy of shyness. Just remember that when you have a full heart, when you have a loving heart, when you're inspired and when you're shining your light bright, that people will really love to be around you. People will love to feel that light from, from within you. So I, I think when you're moving forward in the Knight of Cups, is a very safe way to move forward. Um, the Knight of Wands, right? Let's talk about the Knight of Wands. It's not here, but you do have the King of Wands. All right, so the Knight of Wands energy, it's, it, it, this is such a beautiful, let me, let me get through these energies. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the King of... And I just remembered, I did I tell you what all these cards are? I think I did. There is an energy here of distraction. I'm telling you, I'm so distracted during this reading. Some of you could be quite busy, quite busy, and, and multitasking, and doing different things, and, and making sure that there are... You could be moving things forward on different fronts, in different projects. You could be managing things, right? But you're moving forward in an energy of love, in an inspired, loving energy. It, like if it was the Knight of Wands, which the King of Wands sometimes move, moves forward in the Knight of Wands, it's not the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a very fast, um, chaotic energy that could sometimes scare people, or it could sometimes um, bring in an energy of, of um, a rescue energy, or an energy where people people seeing how strong and powerful you are, and people give you all kinds of things to do. And all of a sudden you become this like hero, and, and you're doing all of these things, and then all of a sudden 
um, you realize, well, you don't want to do all these things. Why did you say you were going to do all these things? Why did you say you were going to do this? I can't do all that. And then you let those things drop. And then the people around you would be like, well, what's this? How come, you know, you can get yourself caught up in, in a whirlwind with the Knight of Wands energy. This is the Knight of Cups energy. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Scorpio. It is your own energy. It's an energy of love. It's an energy of inspiration. It's an energy of softness. It's a soft and shy energy. So I like that you're coming into this new into this new experience with this kind of energy because it means that you're going to do it in in a most healthy way, in a most healthy way. Um, and I really like that for you as you enter into this new into this new experience this week. For you know whatever you're doing, there is a new experience here because we have the Six of Wands. And we have the King of Cups, which tells me that you're taking action, you're surrendering in, you you are in this new inspirational place, right? And you also have the King of Wands. So the King of Wands energy is an energy of creation, right? It's an energy of creation. Again, I am so distracted. This King of Wands here, this King of Wands is, is talking, they're addressing the distraction here with the King of Wands. The closer I get to the King of Wands, the more distracted I become. Well, the King of Wands can be a distracted energy. The King of Wands is powerful. He invents. He takes action in his life. There could be a King of Wands here for you that, um, that is part of this group that's very distracted, very um, creative, very ADHD. Um, many times people who are powerful creators um, do have the, the capacity to become very pulled in many different directions, depending on how the energy is flowing. One day they could be very creative. The next day they could be somewhat moody. Um, the next day they could be on to something different. The King of Wands in this, in this energy is a distracted energy, but it is the energy of creation. So you could be moving into a very creative energy. You could be taking action to um, fix something or build something new or um, create a new uh, design for a new building or for a new um, a new city. Um, it is an energy of invention. So something new is happening here. Um, and this King of Wands, I think for many of you is a person. Let's see what I can get here around the King of Wands. Again, the, the closer I got to it, the more distracted I became. This King of Wands could distract the heck out of you, Scorpio. In the extended reading, we'll go much deeper into the King of Wands, Seven of Swords. Six, now we have three sixes here. Harmony, balance. We have the Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. You could have someone in your past who is distracting you for some of you. Okay, you guys, we have four sixes now. We have four sixes. We have the Six of Wands. Did I, I showed you that already. We have the Six of Pentacles here. Six of Pentacles, financial balance, balance of... Balance and equality in your real world, right? New victory there with that. New victory there. Maybe you haven't felt that way in a long time, right? With the Six of Pentacles. Then we have the Six of Cups, soul connection. Something that you feel very deeply about could be something around healing, something about family and legacy, soul connection, right? And then you have the Six of Swords, Moving forward in something that brings peace. Moving forward in something in a way that allows you to finally have peace with something, make peace with something. So there could be a person here that you're moving away from or a, or a situation that you're, yeah. Okay, so for many of you, this is a person or a situation that you're moving away from. Seven of Swords here. You're revising your life. You know, you're moving away from this person or this job or this place that was sort of kind of a windstorm or a thunderstorm or a whirlwind energy. Um, Seven of Swords. So there is an energy here of revising your life, changing things up, 
changing things up, the energy of changing things up. And you're changing things up because something was taken from you. Maybe you're the peace in your life was taken from you because we have peace and harmony being restored here with all the four sixes. You might want to look up six, 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 four sixes and see what that means. I'm not going to say what it means, Scorpio, because there are a lot of different meanings for these numbers. So it would be best if you looked up six, 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 six and found out, read through all of the different meanings and, and really Use your intuition to see what really stands out for you because there are a lot of different meanings with these numbers. Um, and I don't want to have the arrogance to just tell you what that is. I feel like um, I'm being guided to say this. All right. So you're changing something up, but this is a very distracting. Um, there is going to be a distraction for you here. Um, and there is a, a guidance here that you are changing things up and that in the next week or so, in the next period of time, you're going to be feeling some sort of peace and balance around whatever this soul connection was, because it's something here that that is connected to you, right? Whatever you're leaving is connected to you. It is connected to you and it's a powerful energy and it, and it's like, it's, it's keep, it's, it's wanting to, it's almost like a vacuum energy. It's, it's wanting to suck you back in. It could be distracting. So you could be really now using the strength that you have to stay focused on whatever this is and not allowing this King of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, and again, this is a very active energy. So this person, if this is a person, this King of Wands, or even if it's a job or a, a company or a cause or whatever this is, they are very active. This is a very strong energy, this King of Wands. Um, could even be an old performance you were in or because the King of Wands performs. The King of Wands could be a, a politician. King of Wands could be anyone who influences. So there could be someone who is quite influential that you've moved away from. Right. It could even be a political party that you have moved away from. King of Wands is out there doing things, talking about things, influencing things, building things. A lot of verbs, a lot of action words here with the King of Wands. But usually something is being created. Something is being said. Somebody is being influenced with the King of Wands. And having the King of Wands with the Seven of Wands over the top just gives me this energy that you're moving away from that and you're finding balance. Finding balance with that. Um, moving into a more peaceful energy, even though there's a soul connection. There are many times in our lives where we do have soul connections with people, with jobs, with different experiences, and it is karmic. It is there to teach us something. We don't always have to stay with these energies. We can move forward. We have free will. We have the ability to, to create our own realities and make choices and make decisions in our lives that bring us to new experiences and to new abundance. And what I see here is you really moving through this distracting energy and moving into a much more harmonious and peaceful and much more powerfully aligned energy as you're moving into the future. All right. So that's what I have for you. Um, let's look at what the extended will be. How did I get to 33 minutes? I'm trying to keep these short, but you know what? When there's a message, there's a message. So I have to sort of surrender into that, don't I? See what I was saying with our stubbornness? We think we're in control, but sometimes we're not. <laughs> I am in your energy, Scorpio. So sometimes the words I say and, and how I even talk to myself when I'm in your energy is a reflection of, of kind of what you're, what you're going through. Because when you're a strong empath, like I am a very powerful empath, I can be influenced by the energies around me, um, especially when I'm willingly stepping into these energies. Um, let me see here. I want to step into, um, I want to step into the six of wands and, and, and dig deeper into this new, um, situation that we have here. Um, definitely into this page of cups. We're going to dig deeper into the page of cups and see what this, who this person is or this friend is or somebody's coming in here and somebody new that's just inspiring you, warming up your heart. I'm going to dig into this knight of cups energy. I, I do believe for most of you, it is your energy as you move forward. Um, but I'll dig into that a little bit more. And I'm definitely going to dig into the King of Wands to see what the King of Wands has to say. The intention of the King of Wands to see what the King of Wands has to say. And then we'll look into the future. 
So in the extended, we'll look into the future and we'll look to see um, who are the people, who are the people around you and what do they have to say? All right, so that's the focus of the extended. Who are the, who are the people? Because I, I feel like you're stepping into a new arena or into a new space. Who are the people around you and what do they have to say? I have to write it down or else I'll forget. All right, Scorpio, I hope this was helpful for you. I wish you all the best. Good job in moving forward. It takes a lot of courage to do this, a lot of strength to do this. And um, I, I see you being very successful with this. I really do. So I just congratulate you, commend you on your work. And um, it's a beautiful way now that you're moving, even though you have a tower here. It's telling me that you are now flowing with the universe, with your spiritual team, and it's bringing you into a new balance and harmony with the six energies. Beautiful. I love when the sixes come out. It's very rare that all four come out, but they all did. And I think that's very powerful. Very, very powerful, Scorpio. You're in a very powerful place. You really are. The eights, when you have four eights, that is the most powerful energy I feel with the tarot. When there are four eights, that's power. That's bull energy, right? B-U-L-L. -L. That is the power of the oxen, right? That is a horsepower. The sixes are pretty darn close. Sixes are pretty darn close. So you have six energy. Um, it's harmony. It's financial balance. It is strength of, of the person. It's peacefulness. It's moving it into a very abundant energy. Um, and we do see one seven. So I see escalation of that. And in the next future, you're going to have some timing situations and really kind of being in the flow now with the universe. And there's going to be perfect timing coming in for you. And then you will move into the eight energies. All right. So Scorpio, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to read for you. And I'll see you back here next week with another weekly forecast. Thank you so much.